Some holiday decorations hang around, but January 1 usually brings a change of season. Construction fencing will be here at Queensboro Plaza, and more will go up around the system. It's a new year for MTA projects, and they're promising a busy one. Start off on a clean slate, literally. Riders have been paying attention to station conditions. Clean it up a little, keep the trains cleaner. Maintenance and keeping things in a state of good repair are top priorities. The MTA started a renovation and cleaning program. 55 hours spent over a weekend. Dozens more stations will get the treatment this year. More work means more detours. Riders want the MTA to step up communications and notifications. Get the work done. It happens nowadays. It, it's normal. If you have to accept this one. It's normal. Even if it is a little bit late, it, it's worth it. 2024 will be a year of elevators, escalators, and accessibility projects. Upgrades at another record 15 stations are supposed to be done. Queensboro Plaza represents the new action plan. The elevator project has been underway since early 2023. The entire Queensboro Plaza station will close on the weekend in January for the next phase. I usually try to stick in the Queens area anyways, so going up towards Astoria, things like that. So shouldn't affect me too much. The MTA says more contracts for accessibility projects at other stations will be awarded in 2024 based on funding from the Central Business District Tolling Program. Congestion pricing will provide funding for the big projects moving ahead if it clears the final board vote and public comment section later this year. Making the mezzanine accessible at Queensboro Plaza, that project will be done by mid-2024. As for commenting on congestion pricing, you can do that online now through mid-March, and then public comment hearings are scheduled for the end of February into March.